Okay, so create some. What I want to do also um, before import, let me see if I can how this one will look because currently I have it adjustment this way. Can duplicate it and maybe you know what? What if I just put it right slightly right here a little bit because this is look interesting, but I think if we just bring kind of that way maybe look a kind of adjustment okay and you transform let's go to rotate Get a little bit that way okay um right here look on this edge so we have it kind of edge going around and um, so this edge is right here this one and you'll have this edge more it's when we select it so the one thing to to do when you select if you are uh, decreased by one pixel or what I still like to do doesn't matter on image after or before it just using the um, blur kind of Okay, let's go to say nine and just take this edge and blur sl slightly in so you can see how we're going beside it will remove that highlights which is help us isolate it a little bit but it also will help blend a little bit better into image so just slightly blur around okay, and if you look it will blend a little bit better with our scenery so we can do the same thing right here you can just take it and just very fast to go just blur the edge okay we'll go over don't need to be too much on the details it's look fine some of them will look okay and right here for example it's look very well work with a kind of snow outline so it's well good but again if you want it just one select um, shrink selection by one pixel and it will cut off but overall so I'll keep it this way um, let's go right now and uh, we'll go to bring our characters we'll see which one to want to use it so I have a two um, castle or sci-fi so I'm probably just for this trial I'm going with this um, kind of castle looking church or whatever we can call that let's go select because on this case you know we can place this somewhere around um, and again you see around it's what I actually forgot to do so let me delete this layer we'll go right here and you can select modify we can contract and let's do by one pixel okay next we go move in so we'll just cut some of that elements um, let's go to edit transform and we'll scale this just down Oops, and we'll see where we want to place it so you can look we can place it this actually um, okay we can take this one let's go put it up front and we'll place we can place it right around here or in a mountain hiding or maybe far away but it must be very small so it does maybe worth it to take this Oops, control Z okay just hide accidentally put it in this layer Okay. maybe it does work to place it somewhere like around here or a place a little bit more far away on a mountain if we put it far away on a mountain around there we need to shrink more and put it in some other places so you can kind of play around see which way you want to put it but I think maybe right here will be interesting and we're gonna scale and bring it way down 
The reason why I'm bringing down because the overall scale. I want to keep this um, more realistic, so I'll bring right there maybe. Somewhere like around here. So I think that this may be okay place. Um, let's bring person and how I say we, I can probably do this or bring other ones. We'll figure out where to bring where to put it. I'm going right now to open. I will just take this guy. I'll copy that one. Create new channel. Paste it. Okay, we'll select. Okay, and for this one, actually, I won't shrink him because right here we're kind of small. I'll probably just blur anyway. Um, and he will be obviously go up front. So edit transform will go scale. And when you remember when you created this is what uh, scale we want to create to adjust so we can maybe create him about that size. So at this time, you know, when if we'll put him around, this is kind of scale of the mountain, you can compare him to that. Of course, his uh, colors and everything is not even closer to what we want to do. We'll also probably add some walking path for him, but it does um, give it some perspective at this moment. Okay, so let's do... Um, couple things it will help to continue working I want to add some clouds to separate layers and that will give me overall tunnel a tone kind of and so I can modify a little bit on these characters as well we have some of right here already you can see we have it some layers so I know where to place it some of them so we'll go to create new layer and I, for this one, I'm just going to use 100% white. And I have it a nice uh, collection of the brushes at Saron Brushes. You can um, purchase them at um, DAS Studio, or you can go online and download it many um, other brushes as well. So right here, what I'm doing is just add a little bit on the back, kind of with the sun right here just small things okay one layer next we can go create a new layer this will if you can see going just before this mountain so we can go modify a different type of there kind of effect um, also switch to the soft light sometimes does effect and combination between soft light and normal may give you kind of nice um, effect of embedding. I'm not sure if this sky I still like it I maybe need correct color on this sky because maybe it's too dark for me I may want to create some different color we'll see but for now it's this way okay so let's go create another one Okay, this one I'm going to switch a little bit more on the side and again we can scale down so I can add a little bit more details okay let's create kind of like right here And you can see how the layering going. Okay, we'll go create a new layer from mountain right here, and it's just add another separation. Okay, let's go to this one. So we're all just adjustment. Um, Playing a little bit with a different type of the. I'm using bracket um, keys to. Okay, I'll bring distance to this area. Maybe a little bit touch up on the sides. OK, 
Okay. Um, how I said before, I maybe don't like how color it is, so I'm going to use it curves for this. We'll go to the blue, and we can see if we can um, kind of bring a little bit bluish and a cyan maybe color to this. A little bit less on a red. Kind of a little bit colder look right here, just slightly adjustment. Okay, next we have these two groups, so let's add. And I'm just adding a little bit more fog around this area. And again, right up front. Right here, let's select. And we'll just go ahead and add kind of effect right here. Okay, this is very, again, this is very, very rough adjustment. But it is um, help somewhat create a theme so kind of see how the lighting and how the smoke is or smoke or the going distribution on that one. Okay, so let's go to um, adjust a little bit on this temple. The one thing of how we can work on a distance to apply to the temple, it is with distance you lose details and you also lose some coloring. So for example, Okay, we have the, um, our temple right here. And let's just rename this. So this is our temple. So front clouds, and I will remain rename as we going the. So it's our man. Okay. Clouds two set and um, just a sec. Okay, so right here, temple. What I want to do is creating um, hue and saturation, and we'll take saturation and start bringing down till it's kind of almost blending inside. It does affect layers below, but if we're going and set clipping to just this object, it will apply only to this object. Okay, next what I want to do is actually add lightness to this just slightly. So overall right now if we preview, you can see how this is temple before applied and after. So this is, we kind of start blending the more in. With a guy, with this, and maybe just add a little bit more fog around just to hide these edges. So we can actually going to um, right here. So let's go create new layer. Take our brush. Yeah, maybe select this one. Smaller, and I'll just kind of add a little bit more foreground area and just a little bit right here okay um, with the, this guy we need to actually work a little bit more because we need to add a shadows around him so it's kind of lighting a little bit project and bring him to this place um, to do shadows, we need to create a new layer. And overall, when you, if you work with shadows, you know this. To create realistic shadow, you actually need to create two types of the shadow. One very close up and other ones is a um, little bit more out. So the, we will have two shadows. One. Okay, right here. Let's man shadow let's call this i'm leaving this shadow because i will go paint very close but this is what i created right now that is will be his fallout shadow so we're going to select 
and will fill up with just a black color. Next, what I want to do is take this and place it right here. So we're going to edit, transform, and we flip vertical. Okay, next let's go take this his shadow. Okay, right here, select. And right here we can put by the feet, but remember it's the sun going this way. So kind of even transform and we're going to um distort. So I'm just kind of adjusting a little bit. And notice I'm making a little bit wider in this area. Okay, and next things what do you want to do? You want sharper by the feet and you want more blur by the end. So to this one actually in Photoshop, it's nice to do if you're using tilt and shift. So as example, let's go right here. We'll take our tilt and shift, we'll shrink. Let's move right here. And this is kind of because it's small. I take a little bit adjustment. But overall, you can see we can bring closer and kind of start adjusting this tilt and shift stuff. Blur more on the end. Go bring this right maybe about here. Kind of create somewhat, um, you can see a little bit more natural look this way. And let's switch this to the soft light. Okay, soft light, I don't think it's work very well. So we'll go back to normal, maybe just slightly reducing so to match these shadows I'm looking right here so I'm kind of matching and you remember we have another shadow that close up this is what I was saying you can create by two shadows very natural so we'll go select just small uh, normal round brush okay maybe even smaller okay we'll go select um, black color let's go one I'm reducing size and you can kind of painting slightly right here, a little bit by the feet. So just small adjustment. Yeah, let's go back. And you can see right here we have it somewhat shadow applied. And um, okay, so the shadows is let's look without and with and you can see now we have this character more kind of assigned to our place so he more feel like in there um when you work with shadows we can also go in a very easy just add by using same um brush till we here we can just you know paint in He's dragging kind of feet almost. Okay, let's take blur two, pop up one, and just slightly blur it so we don't need it too sharp. Okay, create, let's zoom out. So, right here we have our guy. Kind of we can see walking slow towards our temple. Okay, so in the next, what we're going to do, we're going to create this mountain a little bit more far away. You remember how we did with haze and coloring? So we'll start adding some distance and feel to this far away mountains with some curves and adjustments. So let's do this in the next portion of the tutorial.